Hi, I'm Mark Lane, and I'm running for Township Clerk. On March 9, 2020, five members of the current Township Board approved a proposal to convert this approximately 90-year-old former U.S. Navy building into a community recreation center. For about the last 25 years or so, this facility has been used by a private tennis club that is now closed. This new community recreation center venture did not include a real financial plan or a building inspection. Yet the lack of basic feasibility information did not stop the Township Board from voting on this matter. This proposal drew much opposition from the audience. Bob Zelasko, Blauvelt. Um, first of all, before I start, I'm 100% behind a rec center for this island. I think it's a great idea. Hopefully, maybe in the next administration, we'll have a financial plan and we'll be able to bring one on in a productive manner. I looked at the proposal. I worked the numbers up and down. Found it very difficult to see how we're going to generate a positive cash flow to even hold our own on this. The only thing that I'm recommending is why don't we do it right? Why don't we go out and get a, you know, inspection by an engineer, get an understanding what the real true capital outlays, significant maintenance costs are going to be, so we're not guessing. A number of residents voiced serious concerns about the wisdom of the township board voting without first knowing answers to factors such as the estimated cost of renovation and having a solid projection of cash flow. Instead of being welcomed for offering their input, concerned residents were referred to as malcontents who have a political agenda by a top official from the Airport Commerce Park Commission. Our Grozio malcontents are gonna find any scare tactic they can to try to stop something. At the meeting, Supervisor Loftus requested that four options regarding the 90-year-old building be presented. Option one, tear the building down. Option two, seek RFPs for an outside group to operate the building. Option three, allow the airport commerce park to operate the building. Or option four, for the Gross Hill Recreation Department to operate the building. Option four was endorsed by the Airport Commerce Park Commission and the five-member voting block on the township board. Taxpayer dollars were to be provided through the Township Recreation Department for necessary repairs and improvements to the building. Now remember repairs that without a building inspection have no accurate estimate on cost. This is basic information needed to fully and fairly evaluate the feasibility of operating a community recreation center project. I think we've worked really hard as a commission and we have asked questions. We have a lot of good plans and uh, I'm all for this, so thank you. And with that, the five-member voting block on the Township Board approved the new Community Recreation Center project. <clears throat> Those in favor of approving the facility use, operation, maintenance, and agreement between Gross Hill, Airport Commerce Park Commission, and the Gross Hill Community Recreation Commission for 9251 Grow Road, and furthermore, to amend the Recreation Department budget to include the Community Recreation Center budget for revenue expenses dated March 9, 2020. Uh, Mr. Bletcher. Aye. Mr. Malvesto. Aye. Uh, Mr. Nelson? Aye. Mr. Budney? Unfortunately, nay. Clerk? Aye. Mr. Treasurer? Aye. Uh, Supervisor, aye. Thanks for the great discussion, the analysis. We have some work to do. Motion carries. With this vote from the Township Board, the Airport Commission got the offloading of this costly building that they were seeking months before. I think there could be some cost savings, yes, if the tennis center should get offloaded um, or transferred over to recreation, rather. Yep. <laughs> now we're on TV, man. <laughs> um. As a taxpayer, I don't feel offloading this project to be humorous at all. When township board members execute their power and authority to make major decisions like this, transparency, integrity, and addressing the legitimate concerns of residents should be in the forefront of consideration. If you elect members of the GI 2020 team, you can be assured that residents' opinions will be heard in the township hall again.